Okay. In the last video, we calculated the lateral surface area, and now we're going to continue and find the total surface area. So you haven't, if you haven't watched the last video, you need to because part of finding the total surface area is finding the lateral surface area. So let me explain what I mean. If we take our diagram here, um, lateral, remember it sounds like lado in Spanish, and so it's the side. So your lateral surface area is all of this stuff, all the triangles on the outside of the figure. And coloring it in is kind of useless because you really can't see what I'm doing. But the point is, it's it's just the triangles on the outside. Okay, Total surface area means that we're now going to include this square down here at the bottom. So if you want the total surface area, you got to know the area of all these four triangles right here, and then you just add the square to the bottom and you're done. We already found the area of the four triangles because we found the lateral surface area, which was 544. So that's why you have to watch the last video to know how to do that. So to, to find the total surface area, I'm going to find the area of this square right here. So it's 16 by 16. Area of a square is length times width. So 16 times 16 is 256. So I'm taking the area of these four triangles that we have here, which is 544, and I'm adding the square at the bottom, which is 256. And when you add them together, you get 800, if I added that right. So 800 would be your total surface area. Lateral surface area is 544. Total is 800 because we added the area of the square at the bottom. And just in case you were confused about the lateral surface area since I ran out of time on the last video, um, what I did, this is a total summary of the whole problem, what I did is I knew the formula for lateral surface area is one half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So to figure out the slant height, which is this one right here along the outside where the priest would walk up alongside of the, of the pyramid, I had to use a right triangle. This height is 15 as it's labeled. This is 8 because it's half of the whole side which is 16. And then I used the Pythagorean theorem which is step 3 and I said 15 squared plus 8 squared. That gave me 289 so this was 17. I took the 17 and I plugged it in for this slant height here. So that was right here. And then the perimeter of the base, which is the P, was 64 because it's 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16. So that number went there, and I just multiplied all that in the calculator and got 544, and that's the lateral surface area. And to get the total surface area, you add on the square at the bottom, which I did here, actually here, and then I got um, 800 for total surface area. So that's how it's done.